Hi, you guys. Hi, how are you? I love that Sebastian was like, I love that curvy film critic. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like laughing. Okay. Um, you guys, I he's like, um, I love this, it. I just I keep, I keep going. I listen, I get the same reaction all the time. I love it too, clearly. <laughs> um, this film had me all up in my feelings. There were so many twists and turns. My jaw was dropped to my crack. I said, oh, Lord, what's going to happen next? <laughs> but having said that, Julianne is a first-time producer. What's the most surprising thing you found about pulling this process off? Oh, wow. Well, you know, it's a little bit like stone soup. You know, because you sort of started, we started with this script. It was just me and the writers. And you have this thing and then you just kind of keep adding elements. And, you know, we brought in the people to, to finance it. Then we brought in somebody to co-produce. And then we brought in a director. And then we brought in the actors. And then we brought in the production designer. And we brought, you know, so it just keeps piling up because you started, we started with just me and the two writers. And it's like this little tiny thing. And then it becomes massive. That's what was really surprising to me. I, I didn't know that we would go from that point all the way to here right now. So I'm, I'm still kind of uh, astonished. <laughs> Well, girl, you pulled it off. I was all about everything. I really was. So I have this question for both of you. If confident, both of these characters are super, super confident in what they're doing and trying to pull off, right? And I'm trying to skirt around it because when people watch this interview, I want them to watch the movie. I don't want me to tell them what the movie is about in this interview. Right. So if confidence was currency, how much would Max and Madeline be worth? Um, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, a lot. It's a confidence game. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, yeah, I, I, I think know. that you know I, I've been talking a lot about pleasure. Um, just that Ma I think that Madeline just just receives a lot of pleasure from what she does in her pursuits. Her, you know, ev everything that she does, she does kind of because it makes her feel so good. And that's that's what's interesting because you think about when people kind of go toward their desires, whether they're good, bad, or whatever, they're just going toward what they want. And that can be really intriguing to watch, um, I think certainly with Max and Madeline. Cool. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> and if you had a, um, if you had to cre curate a playlist for either one of your characters, music wise, because the music in this seemed to go, seemed to coincide with the story, especially mm -hmm. since it was, it was such a heavy New York story and mm -hmm. so rooted in the ground to New York. So if Madeline and Max had a playlist to curate for their characters, what kind of playlist do you think you come up with? Well, you know, um, Ben actually shared a playlist um, with me, at least, I don't know, um, earlier on of, of certain songs that he was listening to for our dance sequence, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and a lot of those were actually songs that I love because, you know, they're from the 80s. And I love, I, love, yeah. I love a lot of 80s music. And particularly the song that we used, actually, is a real favorite of mine. So I just sort of stuck to that, actually. I was like, okay, okay this, is, this might be part of the feeling of, or the vibe of this film, you know? But, but then when I saw the movie, I, he made all these other great musical choices, you know? Because the movie, to some extent, functions in chapters. And mm -hmm. if you pay attention, it's all really curated in really specific ways, and that was so neat. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, I love that. And I, I'm a fan of both of you. I've seen pretty much everything you both of you have done. But, and I noticed that you all always tackle these characters that have quite a bit of substance, but they're really complex all at the same time. Was there anything in particular for Max and Madeline that made you guys want to jump into the, these particular characters? Because to a certain extent, they seemed a little different than a lot of the stuff that I've seen you guys do. Thank you. Yeah, I think it was that difference for me. It was that, you know, Madeline really stood out for me. I realized it was somebody, she's somebody that I hadn't played before. Um, and I was excited by that idea and excited that she's, she's also someone who has a relationship with all these different characters in the, you know, that's, this is an ensemble movie and, and all of, and they all have these very intricate, intense relationships with one another. And I was intrigued by that too. I'm like, I'm like all these, these great strong characters, you know, all hold their own weight. So, so to me, that was really the, the draw. Yeah, and and you know Max seemed uh, at first to, to have to be doing things that were 
you know, good natured, and then and then sort of halfway through he would go, you know, completely the opposite way, and and so it was always really hard to know what the true, what was the true desire of this character, what was the real intention, was this somebody who had been broken in a certain way that was trying to, you know. Um, sort of get back at the world or somebody, you know, did he come from like a really poor background and, and, and work his way to blend into this world because he wanted to break that world? Or was he always someone that actually had a, a rich background? You know, it's just, it was, was he just a sociopath or was there at least something hurt there that he was, so there were all these questions. I, and, and, and sometimes when I don't know the answer to some of that, like it, it pulls you in and you want to go and you kind of like, you're like, you go on this, journey of being a detect detective, you know? Well, you guys, thank you so much for giving me your time today. These characters were so intense and vulnerable and complex and, and intriguing with so much substance. And this is a bucket list moment for me with both of you. I'm so, so, so excited. And thank you thank so you. much for um, talking to me today. I want everybody to see Sharper. I think it is such a smart film. Thank you so much. You're Thank so you. kind. I really appreciate that. Oh, no. You'll find out as we meet each other down the road. I don't say nothing. I don't mean. <laughs> okay. I love it. Awesome. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.